There's going to be a party. Oh, yeah. Big party. Okay. So what I'll just do is I'll go through this problem so you guys can see number 11. Right? Cool. Yeah. So what I have here, let's make sure that's on. It is 3, 4x minus 3y is greater than 12. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of times I actually, you know what, why not? Um, you can solve this two different ways. Remember, when it's in the standard form like this, it's very easy to do your x-intercepts and y-intercepts, right? What we do, x-intercept, you say y equals 0. So I put a 0 in for y. So I do 4x minus 3 times 0 is greater than 12. Y-intercept, you put an x equals for 0. So you do 4 times 0 minus 3y is greater than 12. Here you get 4x greater than 12. Here I get negative 3y is greater than 12. For each one, you solve for your variables. Remember, dividing by a negative number, you're now going to switch. y is now less than a negative 4. All right. So to graph this, um, what I like to do is these are both my x and my y intercepts. Now, when graphing, I always want to make sure that I use a test point, just so I can make sure that everything I did was correct and it's going to work. So my x-intercept is going to be at positive 3. So I go 1, 2, 3. My y-intercept is at negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. Now remember, when do we determine is my line dashed or is it solid? You could use a test point for that. Or also, you could also do what? When it's positive or Right, because if you're going to use a test point, you're going to pick a point that's on the line. Then if it's less than or equal or less than or greater than, it's not going to be true, right? Because you're going to have an equality. The line is going to be equal. But so if you have less than or greater than, it's not going to be equal. So therefore, to represent a solution that does not include the line, we're going to show a dashed line. Now, oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, that one? Yeah, it's shutting off. That one? Oh, OK. Um, so now, for this one, we need to choose a test point. Remember, we don't want to choose a test point on the line because that tells us if it's, it's solid or dashed. We want to know where do we shade. We always like to choose the test point 0, 0. Unless my line goes through 0, 0, then again, I would be testing if it's shaded or dashed again. So I test 0, 0, and all I need to do is just plug in 0, or plug those points in for my function. So I do 4 times 0 minus 3 times 0 is greater than 12. That's not 12. OK? That ends up getting 0 is greater than 12. Is 0 greater than 12? No. So that is false. So I put a nice big F right there on that point. That tells me that that point and every single point above that line is going to be false. So if every point above that line is going to be false, that means every single point below is going to be true. But guys, I can't graph all those points, right? That's like, it'll take me forever. So what we do is we can just show shading by showing some lines. And that means all my points below this line are going to be true. All right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, one thing you could also look at it is you could go back to these solutions. And since my variable is represented first, you could also do your test point for each one of these before, right? You could say, is 0 greater than 3? Right? What you could do is you could look at it, and you could plug in your test point. Is 0 greater than 3? No. So 0 is not greater than your test point 3, so that's false. So you're going to shade to the right of my x value, to the right of my x line. And then you're going to be shading, um, it's false of my y value. Or 0 is less than, so it's going to be true. So you're going to shade below. And you can see, you could use your x and y intercepts as well for that kind of point. But the main thing I'd like you guys to use is just use your test point. Use your intercepts to graph, or put it into y equals mx plus b form. And then just use your test point to show it. OK? So I guess I had to do. Cool? Questions? Bring with us. Yes? What? What's your question? You can. Do it that way. If that makes sense, do it. 
Huh? No. Don't do it that way then. <laughs>